Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. Now yesterday's Raid Boss 101 video was the solo Anixia kill, and I may have slightly bragged about the fact that on the first week of release of patch 5.1, Anixia dropped herself as a mount for me. So I had a few people saying, Az, can we see the mount, please? Yesterday, so Cookie and others, there you go. And it's a beautiful mount, I've got to confess. It's one of those mounts... That if you see somebody go past with it and you haven't got it, it, makes you jealous. A bit like when somebody flies past me on Ashes of Alar. I don't think, God, that's a great mount. I just think, you bastard. <laughs> but that might just be the demented me. Anywho, that's not the purpose for today's video. Today, we are deep in the heart of Sunwell Plateau to take on the might of Giljaden. Or not the might of Kill Jaden as it is now. And I must confess, the Sunwell Plateau is one of those raid instances that even today send a chill down my spine when I enter it. I just think it's such a beautiful raid. And it was so hard back in the Burning Crusade. I mean really, really hard. And even even up till recently was still tough for a lot of people to, to get through. And the Burning Crusade is when I started to play WoW. So this has a very special place in my heart, this expansion. I, I joined in March 2007. I believe the expansion came out in January of 2007. So I, I, I joined pretty much at the start of its life. And when I did start playing WoW, I was just a ridiculous noob. Some of you may debate, I still am. <laughs> but I remember being in Silithus at level 60 and some, some guy saying to me, why are you leveling up here? Why aren't you in Outland? And I think my response was something along the lines of, what's Outland? And instead of just ridiculing me, they decided to take me under their wing and denubify me. Again, some of you may debate to various degrees of success. And by the end of the Burning Crusade, I had killed Kael'thas, I had killed Lady Vash, I had killed Illidan, uh, Gruul. Um, you know, we'd gone through the whole lot of the raid bosses. The only raid that we hadn't completed was Sunwell Plateau. And I believe only about 2-4% to 4 of guilds maybe even got into to Sunwell Plateau, never mind killed Kill Jaden, or 2-4% to 4 killed Kill Jaden, so there was like 96% of guilds which didn't. But remember, that was a different age, where if you wanted to be a raider, and wanted to better yourself as a raider, then it was all about the natural progression of the raids. And of course, I'm, I'm not going to go into the semantics of, of how the game's changed, and whether or not it's a good or a bad thing, but we're now at a point in the World of Warcraft where everything is a lot more accessible. For, again, good or bad reasons. That's not why we're here. If you've been keeping an eye on my health and also my pet's health, you would realise we have taken no damage in this fight. For some reason, Kill Jaden really is weak. He just can't seem to hurt anyone. So, even if you're a melee class, I, I can't fathom how anyone could possibly wipe on this boss at all you know please do share your secrets if you can but i just want to address a couple of other things while we dispatch him to the nether regions <laughs> first of all a few people have been saying can i get your real id and sadly it's not something i i give out i did try at the beginning of my channel to, to give it out to quite a few people but sadly instead of been using as a tool to, to just ask you know questions or, or whatnot about the game um it sort of degenerated into people just stalking me <laughs> so it didn't matter what character i was on whether i was on as or other ones of my alts because you can't hide anywhere with real id i was literally just getting people going what are you doing what are you doing and if i was you know away and, and unable to answer either watching the tv cooking making a cup of tea maybe sat on the loo having a number two people were starting to get a bit pissed off why aren't you answering me why aren't you answering me so you know to avoid disappointing people i decided to, to just wipe everything off my real id and just keep it to my real life friends got no problem with anyone just whispering saying hello or asking me a, a legitimate question but being stalked not so good <laughs> and also just a couple of things on what's to come in 2013 before kill jaden goes bye-bye 
Um, I'm currently alpha testing the new Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. I can't discuss anything about it because there's an NDA in the alpha test, which is complete and utterly understandable. And hopefully I'll be picking up a beta key soon in 2013 for the Elder Scrolls Online. So potentially there's some good stuff coming next year. So the channel will only grow, you'll be pleased to know. And I'm also moving house in the new year too. And I'm moving to a friend's house and we're actually going to have a humongous broadband connection there. I've got a very limited one here at the moment. So when I move in the new year, there is the potential to stream as well as getting longer videos because they will upload a lot, lot quicker. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you want, you can stick around in the Sunwell Plateau because there will be a sort of interactive cutscene where you don't actually interact with anything on how the Sunwell is reignited. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Please do also follow me on Twitter and also like my Facebook. Very important. I do need your support on these two functions. And I shall be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.